It's Mr. Drew, eh? Highly spiritual. You see my baby, yeah, and I say, in a feeling I get, I get your love, oh. Hey, that's not some way. I don't even know where to start from. I don't even know how to begin because y'all are the realists. Because I made this channel before I took the MCAT. Before I even really started studying for the MCAT. And I was like, by the grace of God, I'm getting into med school. And I want it to be done in a way where everyone knows that it wasn't me and that it was God and that we we just worked with faith because if I had made these videos after I got in into med school it'd be like okay well she already did it so now she's telling us what she did I I tell you guys this all the time but for everyone who's new first of all my name's Mame and allow me to reintroduce myself I am an upcoming M S one your girl got into med school <laughs> period i wanted y'all to actually see the stress level and like you know me building up me going through the journey and it was super hard because the journey is not easy at all but i made sure to make the time that whenever i had free time i would make a youtube video about what i was going through and you followed me to the end y'all you followed me to the end and your girl got into medical school to medical school I'm gonna insert some of my reactions next um, some messages I got from my friends when I got into um, my school S schools which I'll get into in, um, in a bit and just like my reaction it's not all like oh my god like there's a lot of crying because i was just shocked at first i didn't really understand i was kind of like what huh but as time went on like as people started texting me and everything as people started to find out as i started to tell people the emotions started building up because it was like everyone saw how much i was struggling how much i was stressed how much i didn't want to take that exam the mcat <sighs> we just thank the lord i don't have to take that thing ever again like when i when i tell you i went down my knees so many times and said god i can't take this again so do with it what you will do with it what you please at this point i might have a top choice but and my top choice might be 18 points above my actual MCAT score, but God, just do do what you want. If if we can get that into the top choice with the score, that's good. If we can't, that's also good, because either way, your girl is going to be a doctor to the glory of God. Oh, God is able to do just what he said. into I got in like November 2nd which is kind of scary because um, acceptances started going out on October 15th and my top choice school I had an interview on um, the first day of their cycle like September 8th so I was like dang but then I found out that no one got their acceptance from that school yet and that they were giving their acceptances the week of Thanksgiving actually they didn't tell us it was a surprise for all of us so um, 
yeah so my first acceptance was november 2nd Woo! everyone's screaming oh my gosh you're gonna be a doctor and then i got my second acceptance like the next week my third acceptance was actually the, the acceptance to my top choice and i i remember i remember it so well like i woke up that day listening to um too faithful you are too faithful to fail me and i just i don't know i i just felt like god was going to do something amazing and so i was going home for thanksgiving like the monday of thanksgiving 2020 so i was listening to gospel music i got into the tr um into the train station put money in my car went down the stairs as soon as i landed on the second to last step that's when my phone starts buzzing and of course I'm listening to music so I'm like who is calling me to come and stop my music and be an enemy of progress in my peace like what is going on I look at my phone and it says the name of the doctor who interviewed me during my interview day and like I just knew that on that day of my interview she called me because of like technical difficulties with our interview I said I'm gonna save this number and me saving this number is having faith in God that I'm not only gonna get into this school I'm not only gonna get a, a call from this school but I'm gonna go get a call from this specific woman who interviewed me on my interview day from this school telling me and when I saw her name I was like ain't no way like that song God is able to do just what he said he would do that just what he said he'll do it and do it beautifully to perfection like literally there were no holes no gaps in what he did he did that okay this is a god thing because anyone else in the admission team could have called me y'all anyone else could have called me the fact that it was her i said god did all of this this whole cycle he did it so yeah i got into that school top 20 med school in the u.s i'm too excited i'm waiting for decisions from other like schools as well that i'm also really looking into but just like the acceptance from this school like i'd be more than happy to go to this school but i'm just waiting to you know just with money and everything like that but i just feel like god brought it brought me so far with having the my first interview invite be their first interview of the season having me even have like mistakes in my secondary and they still called me for an interview having like asking for um for a fee waiver on their secondary and at first they're like you have to send this this and that and then they're like actually you're good you can just send us your application um we'll waive the fee for you we're so excited and just like the sense of community like they're ah oh, the faculty and the students they are so cute like i'm a fangirl but i'm waiting to see like because you know you can't really t be too hasty with god's plan by the end of the cycle y'all will know every school that i got into and all that but yeah so this school top 20 med school i'm like my mcat didn't say that my mcat did not say that my stats did not say that even my activities like i had like maybe 20 hours of shadowing with people who had like hundreds i said but god okay i did a lot in in undergrad and stuff but you just you have to look at how like they would look at it regularly and then how they would look at it with the glory of god over your life and it just felt like they looked at my mcat score and they said ain't no problem like we already have 525s 526s 528s 520s applying ain't no problem with her with her mcat score um in the next the direct next video after this i will tell y'all my mcat score and the breakdown of everything um yeah but ain't no problem with her mcat score her below 510 mcat score ain't no problem they did you see this god mm, mm, he's able to do what he said he'll do that's that um so i've been accepted to four md schools we give you 
glory god like whoo um and another decision is coming out um on monday so i wanted to wait till monday to do this because maybe that'll be a fifth acceptance because i really did love my um engagement with that school that school i was also like how did i get an interview for this like it was like an ivy league school i was like hello me and they were at the interview gassing me up i was like do y'all know who you are like you're gassing me up we did it we did it joe <laughs> Oh my goodness, this application cycle does not feel real. Um, and yeah, just with interview season, it's so nice to get to know other students applying. Like I've made friends um, on the interview cycle, which I've really like, I just love that. Cause like I made a friend who um, we could possibly go to this um, school that I got into the top 20 together or like, the other school that I'm waiting on, I met, I met another friend that we could go to that school together. And even if we don't go to the same school, like we're checking up on each other and just making sure we're all good, we're all Gucci, and it's real cute, like gang. Like I love that. And we're all like black and just trying to see each other grow. Oh, the cutest part, I'm gonna tag him in this if I post on Instagram. The cutest part of this like acceptance to this top 20 was that I just knew that when I saw like this man he was like a black man and I was like I don't know what he's done with his life but he's getting into this school he just came with just such like confidence and just like and I said he's getting in and it was just so funny because we ended up like following each other on instagram um talking a little bit after about our cycle and stuff and then um we were talking about how like this school was taking mad long to get back to us it was like a month past october 15th we were like hello we were the first the first interview day like what is going on and then a few days later like i get the call and i texted him and i said omg i'll insert it here but i said omg and then he was like um did you get the like call to the school and i was like oh my god yes and he was like and it was just so nice because it's like i knew that like we were both gonna get in it was just really beautiful and now we're like we're pretty close and it's gang it's a gang thing like we're all gonna be doctors together like it's really nice the interview cycle i know i said it was I didn't really like it but like after going through and being comfortable talking and giving your answers like make sure you're also talking to the other students like if you see someone who you could probably relate to or um, something like that make sure you talk to the other students because it's I mm, it's just beautiful like I it, it I, I there's no words to describe it like it's just really really nice to see other people melanin in medicine just doing their thing like it's beautiful next application cycle starting baby like the way it just keeps going like our application cycle goes to like april but the next people are starting now writing your personal statement getting recommendations everything that's starting right now so i want to start making these videos and make sure that we're all we're all getting in together like I don't like this competitive nature of medicine we are all getting in together so I'm gonna um, record more videos for you so stay tuned for that I'll tell you my score obviously like every part of my score um, if you follow me on Instagram though follow me on Instagram um, I, I said these things beforehand um, also we're gonna do an accepted series baby okay we're gonna learn how to get accepted to not only one school but multiple schools not only mid-tier but top tier every tier have everyone looking at you like who is that we want her because you deserve to be there you deserve to be in medicine you have something to offer you're not just gonna get in because you're black you're gonna get in because you're amazing you have a story and you need to share it and we're gonna learn how to share it but for now your girl is gonna be a doctor so stay tuned make sure you subscribe because you do not want to miss this 
I'm even still shocked with what happened this application cycle so I know y'all are gonna be too yeah so I'm gonna end this video out and go and record another one because I'm not playing with y'all and I yeah I want to make sure I'm giving back this holiday season so make sure you subscribe please um, make sure you click the notification bell so you know when I'm posting because I just be posting sporadically but right now I'm trying to post a lot um, also make sure you like this video please make sure you comment anything that you want to comment whatever you liked whatever information you want whatever questions you have just drop in the comments I'm so excited <laughs> But I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.